This episode of Ask a Spaceman is brought to you by Skillshare. Yes, my friends at Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes for people like you and uh, like me. Honestly, it's a cool resource for me too. You can explore new skills, you can deepen some passions, and you can just get lost, which is always super fun. I especially recommend some categories along the lines of freelance and entrepreneurship, web development, productivity, to just get your awesome, creative, game-changing idea off the ground, especially the class Pricing Your Work, How to Value Your Work as a Freelancer by Peggy Dean. Valuable, valuable resource for helping you understand just how to how to charge for the awesome work that you do. And, and you deserve to make money, if I do say so myself. Look, uh, Skillshare is curated for learning, which means there are no ads, they're always adding new classes, and you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than 10 bucks a month with premium subscriptions. Speaking of subscriptions, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of premium membership. So you can just do it. Why? Just go. Have fun. Get out of here. Watch this video first and then get out of here. Okay, let's, let's make that clear. Speaking of this video, listen. How big is the universe, right? In order to answer that question, we have to agree on what we mean by universe because the word can mean a lot of stuff. So one definition of the word universe is the observable universe, the limit of what we can see. And there's a limit to what we can see because the universe is only so old and light can only move so fast. So there are... In the distant past, an object had to emit light and then reach us in that amount of time, right? If the object is too far away, there just hasn't been enough time for that light to reach us. The limit, the size of that, that's easy. We, we know that. The size of the observable universe is about 90 billion light years across, which seems large given the age of the universe of around 14 billion years. So it seems like the universe has been expanding faster than light in order for that to be the case. And guess what? That's exactly what it does. The universe expands faster than the speed of light. Who, who said it couldn't? Who are you listening to? Who says, like, who? What law, what rule of the universe is, is it breaking? Uh, the universe is allowed to expand faster than light. It's just that simple. It is just don't worry about it. So the current size of the observable universe is about 90 billion light years. Now, that's not the entire universe, though. Like, that's just our observable patch. We want to know how big, how big the whole thing is. According to our models of the early universe something we call inflation, the whole enchilada is at least 10 to the 62 times bigger than our current observable patch. Why that number 10 to the 62? That's a different episode. But that's large. Like our observable patch is 90 billion light years across. And then do that 10 to the 62 times you get an exceedingly large number. Now, that's minimum. Is it bigger than that? Well, we honestly don't. No, we honestly don't know how big the universe is. We're, we're trying to measure it like, but this is a hard thing to measure because we're limited to our observable patch. We're limited to our little bubble that's 90 billion light years across. This is all we can measure. This is all we can observe. This is all we can study. And from that little patch, we're trying to understand the true size and scope of the whole thing. It's like being limited to your own backyard and trying to measure the size of the earth. But there is a way to do that, and we can do that by measuring the curvature. We can measure the geometric curvature of the universe. Uh, one way to measure curvature, there's a bunch of ways. One way is to look at the behavior of parallel lines. If lines start out parallel and stay parallel, then that is geometrically flat. This is the geometry you learned in high school. If lines start out parallel and then diverge, this is something we call an open universe. And if they start out parallel and then converge and come together, that's called a closed universe. An example of a closed geometry would be the surface of the Earth. You have lines of longitude starting at the equator and they start out perfectly parallel. They stay going in one direction. They just go north. They just keep going north, but then they end up intersecting due to the curvature of the Earth. Now, We've measured the curvature. 
using light that has been traveling through the universe for 13.8 billion years. And as far as we can tell, it's flat. Like, not just a little bit flat, but like way, 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 way flat. So, how big is the universe? If the universe is flat, it could be infinitely big. It could be infinitely big. It could still be finite, though. Yes, it's possible. It's possible to have a finite universe that is still flat. Uh, if you look at the surface of a cylinder, you can draw lines on the cylinder that start off parallel and they'll stay parallel. They'll just wrap around. So the cylinder, and this is weird to think about, but it's true. A cylinder is geometrically flat, but a ball is geometrically curved. So if the universe is flat, it could be infinitely big. It just could extend out to infinity in all directions. Or it could still be finite. These dimensions of the universe can wrap in on themselves, in which case, in principle, you could travel in one direction long enough and then eventually wrap back out around and get back to where you started. Obviously, you would have to travel more than like 10 to the 62 times the current size of the universe. So like it's going to be a long trip. I suggest you pack a stack. But it is there. But as far as we can tell, it's flat. As far as we can tell, it's like supremely large, uh, possibly infinite. It doesn't actually really matter because the size of the universe doesn't really impact our life in this observable bubble. In our observable bubble, it's flat. Like what matters if you're playing around in your backyard, the curvature of the earth doesn't really matter. What matters is that your backyard is flat right? That's what you care about. And so that's what we care about for our universe. Now, there's also like the multiverse idea where there's a bunch of different bubble universes out there, each with their own set of physics. Uh, all this same discussion applies. You still have an observable patch. That's your universe. You still have like a volume that is 10 to the 62 times larger than that, which is our universe with this set of physical laws. And then somewhere very, very far away from that is another universe, like patch with its own set of physics and its observable bubbles and all that. And then over there, and this could extend out to infinity or it could wrap around on itself. It could be finite. All the same discussion applies if you have a multiverse. So the, the answer, to get to the answer of the YouTube video, how big is the universe? We don't know. It could be infinite. It could be merely exceedingly large. No matter what, what matters is the size of our observable patch, which is 90 billion light years across. Boom, there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to patreon.com slash PMSR to keep these videos going. It really does mean a lot, all of your support, and I'll see you next week.